Hi, hi, hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. I'm Karis, I'm a wealth. And this is the fourth part of our video series, How to Have a Great Year. Well, do let us know if you've watched the first, um, the first to the third part of the video series, How to Have a Great Year. Um, let's know if it's added value, okay, to your life. Just drop a comment, share your thoughts. Okay, this is the fourth part, and we've been having an amazing conversation. Um, we started by saying a great year does not happen by itself, okay? Uh, you can't just hope for a great year. You have to approach the year applying time-tested principles. Hope is not a strategy. You need a strategy, right? And then we we'll say that the first thing is to anchor your soul to truth. That should be um, part two, I believe. And then in the last part, we talked about action being the switch of God's power. We said this year, you're going to act, 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 act. Don't just be a hearer, be a doer of the things you hear. Don't just be a planner, switch to execution. Act on the word, act on the promptings of the spirit, act on golden opportunities, act on your goals for the year. Your personal development goals, your growth goals, okay, your financial goals, and all that. All right? All right, today we'll be talking about assembling with your tribe. And I want to share the, on the importance of association and the local church. So the discussion will be in two layers. Okay, um, your association uh, impacting on the quality of your year, and then um, your participation in a local church, okay, in a body of believers. Okay, now we're not designed to live life alone. Okay, God is a we God, and he expects us to be we people right well there's a place of doing things yourself uh, but there are things you cannot do alone okay so um the importance of the right association cannot be overemphasized right so choose your association wisely in this new year hang around fellow water workers hang around people who are going in the same direction with you okay they are friends you should edit out of your life <laughs> that's the truth okay so what are your visions what are your goals hang around people um, who are going in the same direction with you. In Proverbs, the preacher says, He that walks with the wise shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. I heard somebody say this many years ago, and he blessed me. He says, if you have five wise people and you have a foolish person walking with them, he will soon become the sixth wise person. Um, the other way is also true. That means if you have five fools and one wise person comes to join them in the process of time he becomes the sixth fool that's the power of association so the lesson is very clear choose your association um, you see they say power and influence and money and wealth travels in circles that's the truth so choose your circle okay um, be very selective go with those who are going in the same direction who share the same values with you all right. Now, the second layer of this part of assembly with your tribe is the importance of belonging to a local church. Now, I could talk for a whole month on, on, on that, but I'll just give you a summarized version. Now, as a Christian, um, there's a way God expects you to behave. You don't serve God according to your mind. Let me say that again. You don't serve God the way you think. You serve him according to his prescribed order. Okay, according to his prescribed order. And it's God's system that every believer should belong to a group of believers who's, who have a vision that reflects the values in the word of God. So don't be a lone ranger, okay? Um, people are not perfect, okay? You may not find a perfect church, right? Your presence there will make it imperfect, even though they were perfect before you arrived. All right, so um, trust God to lead you to a local church that believes in the world, that has a vision, and get planted there. You see, God's work is carried out in units. You know, there are people who think, okay, there's the body of Christ, the universal church, so I can jump from place to place. That will not help you. And staying alone will not help you. Why? Healthy growth, a healthy spiritual growth, a healthy mental development is impossible in isolation. You need a system of accountability, okay, a system of mentorship, so to say, to help you grow in a healthy way. I tell people that even cancer is a growth, 
but it's growth out of governance. It's growth out of accountability. There's no accountability there. So the cell is just growing. And someone can grow like that. You can grow spiritually, financially, mentally without accountability and it's dangerous. It's a dangerous growth, right? So find a local church and get planted in a local church where you two can add value to what is going on here. What's going on there? Listen, it's going to have a very remarkable impact on your life in this new year. Don't jump around. Anything that is growing is planted. Anything that is working is connected. And there's a spiritual family that fits you, right? So and I trust that God will lead you, okay, to a place that fits you where you can get planted and flourishing in this new year. Hallelujah. So we can go over it again, assembling with your tribe, choosing your association carefully and getting planted in the local church for a healthy growth, right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm getting spiritual now. It's part four. And I just want to pray for you. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay, right on the screen, right? And hit the notification button. I would like to speak words over your ear one more time. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are blessed in this new year. You are increasing in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with men. And I speak that the Lord is causing you to rise according to his will, subduing every opposition before you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, he will send the right people to you and lead you to the right people. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you and God bless.